I'll just scatter it on the floor. And I, I, in an ideal world, it will be scattered outside on the grass and the door open and they'd be in and out. And a lot of them you, you'll find, they'll take a piece of straw, go and fly around, then drop and carry it in. But like I say, with the hawk problem, you can't do that. So just scatter it on the floor and they carry it up to the nest boxes themselves. You still do get one or two lazy ones that won't, and you've got to help them out a bit, but in general. I noticed and you told me that the young birds are not cleaned out. These certainly are. Different policy? The wall pigeons is always cleaned out. Every day? Yes. Sometimes twice a day if I can be bothered. Important? The, when you've got young ones, to be honest, they're not cleaned out. They only clean out once the youngsters is off them and they start racing. And during the, it's, I don't know what the right or just to keep the feet clean and. Does it important that your relationship with the pigeon, because you're going to be present more when you're cleaning out all the time, is that got something? Yes, there? but if you know, all the pigeons are fed individually in the boxes and all which helps to quiet the pigeon. Most of the pigeons, as you can see, are pretty quiet. There is an odd one. There's an odd cockle when you go to feed them or run out the nest box. I don't personally like that. And you generally find them pigeons as no good anyway. A lot of them, when I go to feed them, will actually peck my fingers. And that's, I like calm pigeons as yeah. much as possible. And does that apply cocks, hens and, you know, across the board? Yeah. I mean, you always, it's in the nature of some pigeons to be a little bit scatterbrained, if you like, and you, can, you can't help that, but in general, them's not the better pigeons. <laughs>